Hi, welcome to the Q&A portion of the access control domain. We are going to discuss the different types of access control models. I am Liz von der Heiden. Question number one, which access control model allows owners to determine who can access the files? Is it discretionary, mandatory, role-based, or rule-based? And the answer is A, discretionary access control. In this access control, the access policy is determined by the owner of an object. The owner decides who is allowed to access the object and what privileges they have. Question number two, which access control model uses security labels and access is based on the clearance of the subject? The answer is B, mandatory access control. In a mandatory access control, is an access policy determined by the system and not the owner. So this type of access control process highly sensitive data such as classified government and military information. So in a Mac-based systems, all subjects and objects must have the labels assigned to them. And a subject sensitivity label specifies its level of trust. So in order to access a given object, the subject must have a sensitivity level equal to or higher than the requested object. So for example, you wanted to access a secret file. You have to have a secret clearance or a higher clearance, which is a top secret, in order to access the requested file. And I just have to uh, discuss this abbreviation for the rule base and the role base because it's, it's similar. In the CISSP exam, don't worry about this because they're they are going to spell it out for you. However, you have to know the concept of this too, right? Question number three, which access control model is also known as non-discretionary access control? The answer is C, role-based access control. So in this particular access control, the access is based on the user's job function within the organization to which the computer systems belong. So this particular access control permissions are assigned to particular roles in the organization. So for example, if you're an accountant in a company, you will be assigned to the accountant role. So you will gain access to all resources permitted for all accountants on the system. Which access control model is associated with capability systems? So we can do process of elimination here. We know that mandatory access control deals with that um, it, it's a very strict access control. So, and the system is the one um, determining the access and not the owners. So we can eliminate that. So is it discretionary, role-based or rule-based? So the answer is A, discretionary access control. So in the discretionary access control, you have the file and data ownership and you have the capability systems. So uh, the thing about it is the, the subjects can transfer the access to other objects. So this would be in line with the discretionary access control. Number five, which access control model uses file and data ownership and access rights or permission as, as its per, per, primary components? So this should be an easy question for you. We already discussed this. 
Yep, the answer is a discretionary access control. So this is similar to question number one. So the important concepts in the discretionary access control is the file and data ownership. Okay, and also the capability model. So just remember that the access policy on discretionary control is that an object is determined by its owner. Question number six, which access control model uses a need to know system as its components? So again, process of elimination, we can also al already eliminate a discretionary access control because we already know what it means, right? So is it mandatory, role-based or rule-based? And the answer is mandatory access control. So in this type of access control is the strictest of all level of control and is primarily used by the government. So, so for example, a user with a top secret classification wants to access this file. However, this particular person doesn't have the need to know in that requested file, so he won't be able to access this. So the idea is that you also need to know this particular file to do your job. So if not, then you won't be able to, uh, to get access to this file. Question number seven. Which access control model is used when organizations have a high turnover rate? The answer is role-based access control. So in, remember, in the role-based access control, the access is based on the user's role within the organization. So user memberships in two roles can be revoked easily and new membership established as job assignments dictates. So this would make the systems administrator's job a lot easier and simple because the management of hundreds of privileges, you can just update it without updating every user, right? So you're just going to update the role of that particular person in the group. Question number eight, which access control model acts much like a router? So if you know what a router does, then this should be an easy question for you. And the answer is rule-based access control. In a rule-based access control, this type of control furthers defined specific condition for access to a requested object. Uh, say, for example, in a, you know, like routers, they were they function based on rules, and the rule base, for example, uh, can have situations such as permitting access for an account or group to a network connection at certain hours of the day or days of the week. So they can have this rule that, you know, there is a, a timeline for a particular subject to access an object. Question number nine, which access control model uses access control list to compare the identity of the subject? Again, so this should be an easy question because we already discussed this in the other question, um, the previous question. So the answer is discretionary access control. So remember in the discretionary access control, you have an access control list, you have a capability system, and you have the file and data ownership. 
Okay, so these are the things associated with discretionary con access control. So keep this in mind when you're studying for your CISSP exam. The last question is question number 10. Which access control model allows the system's administrator to define specific rights and privileges to that group? Okay, so the answer is the rule-based access control. So in this type of access control, uh, access allow is allowed or defined to objects based on the set of rules defined by the system's administrator. This concludes the question and answer portion of the access control domain. For more questions and videos, please visit us at levo.group. Thank you for listening.